Hi guys, welcome to the Cisco CCNA 200301 version 1.1 series. So in this series, you will be learning about the entire official new Cisco CCNA curriculum, which is going live on 20th August 2024. So in the new syllabus, you will be tested on network fundamentals. You'll be learning about network access, IP connectivity, IP services, security fundamentals, and automation. So let's see what is the curriculum for your new Cisco CCNA. So if we talk about the curriculum, first of all, the first module is about network fundamentals in which you'll be learning about role and function of different network components like routers, switches, firewall, access point, controllers, endpoints and all. Then next you'll be tested on network topology architectures, like what is two-tier architecture, what is three-tier architecture, what is spine and leaf architecture. Okay, then Soho architecture and on-premise and cloud. Then we have physical interface and cabling types. So you'll talk about different types of cables. You'll talk about, you know, single mode, multi-mode, copper cables, different type of connections. Then you'll talk about different interface and cable issues, how you'll identify them. You'll talk about TCP and UDP protocol, which are two important protocols for communication. Then we talk about IPv4 addressing and subnetting and what are private IPv4 addresses. Then the next part will be about your IPv6, what are different address types and how you can verify IP parameters on different OS, okay? Then we have some part of wireless, what is like what is RF, what are known overlapping Wi-Fi channels, SSID encryption. Okay, then wireless security protocols you have to talk about. Then you have virtualization fundamentals. Okay. Then after you have switching concepts like what are Mac learning aging, switching, flooding, what is Mac address table. Okay. Then finally, network access, which is related to switches only, where you talk about VLANs, trunking, okay. CDP and LLDP protocol you'll talk about, ether channel you'll talk about, okay? Then you have spanning tree protocol where you study about root port, root bridge, different port states, port fast, root guard, BPD filter, BPD guard, okay? These kind of security features also you study. Then again, we have some part of wireless again. Then you have IP connectivity. So in the IP connectivity, it's all about routing part, okay? So here you'll talk about what are the different components of your routing table and how a router makes forwarding decision, then IPv4 and V6 routing you talk about. Then you have single area OSPF. Okay, so in the OSPF version two, you have to talk about neighbor adjacencies, point-to-point -point network, DRBDR concept and router ID. Then here we have about FHRP protocol. What is FHRP? What is the purpose, function and concept? Okay, so more of it is a theoretical part and less of it is a practical part, okay? So then you have IP services where you talk about NAT, NTP concept, DHCP and DNS concept. Okay, what is SNMP, syslog, what is DHCP client and relay? Okay, then you have some terms related to QoS, which you have to understand, like classification, marking, queuing, congestion, polishing and shaping. Then after you have that how you can configure network devices for remote access. Okay, so here SSH is there. We'll talk about Telnet and SSH, both of them. Then you have the capabilities and function of FTP and PFTP. Furthermore, the security fundamentals are there. So in the security fundamentals, you have to talk about key security concepts like what are threats, vulnerabilities, exploits, and mitigation techniques. Okay. You have to talk about user, like what are the different security program elements like user awareness and training, physical access control and all. Then how you can configure and verify your device access control using local passwords, then different password policy elements we have, like what should be the, how you should manage the passwords, what should be the complexity of password, what are different password alternatives. Okay, then you have a difference between your IPsec, remote access and site-to-site -site VPN. Then access control lists are there, layer to security features like DHCP snooping, dynamic app inspection and port security is there. Then AAA concept, you have to talk about what is authentication, authorization and accounting. Then again, you have some part of wireless here. Okay. 
And finally, you have the automation and programmability part, in which you talk about how the automation will impact network management. You compare traditional network with your controller-based networks. Okay, you talk about SDN architecture. Okay, then there should be uh, like explaining the AI and machine learning in the network, how it can be used, how the generative AI, how the predictive AI can be used. Then you talk about REST-based APIs and their operations, the CRUD operations, what are the HTTP verbs and data encoding. And you have to recognize the capabilities of configuration management mechanisms like Ansible and Terraform. Okay. And you have to recognize different components of JSON encoded data, that how the data is encoded in JSON. So kind of you have to interpret the information, how you will be reading the information. Okay. So this is the entire curr curriculum for your CCNA, which is new CCNA 20301 version 1.1. And this new curriculum is going live on 20th August, 2024. Okay. So in this video series, you'll be getting a new video daily. Okay. At 8 PM IST. Okay. So this will include all these topics and the topics, they will not be in the sequence as per this. Okay. As per the curriculum sequences, it will not be there because you can see like, you know, some wireless topics are at the end, some are in the module two, some are in the module one. So there will be a dedicated video for wireless and wireless lab and all. Okay. So this way you will be studying all these topics. All right. So if you are new, then subscribe to the channel and I'll see you inside the videos.